I was experiencing blood in my stool for, for a couple of months and uh, the particular type of cancer is very slow growing so those polyps must have been, been there for a while and I hadn't had a colonoscopy, foolishly probably. Everyone should have a colonoscopy at the latest by age 50. I mean, that's routine screening. And some people need to have it earlier based off of family history or if they have symptoms. In Mr. Goyer's case, if he had had his routine colonoscopy at the age of 50, it's possible that we could have prevented him from getting rectal cancer or at least diagnosed it earlier. The cancer was in my lymph nodes and that qualified me for stage three. And I'll be honest with you, I, I was um, um, scared. Fortunately, when he did start having symptoms, he had rectal bleeding. Too many people uh, ignore that, just assume it's something like hemorrhoids. In fact, most symptoms that people have on their bottom, they assume are hemorrhoids. You're probably aware most people aren't at their cocktail party talking about their bottom, so there's a lot of misinformation about the anal and rectal area. That was the scariest thing about it. I had no side effects whatsoever. No, nothing that led me to believe that I was sick in any way. So when he did start having the symptoms with the bleeding, he finally went to his physician, and eventually I was called in and performed a colonoscopy we did find on him a rectal cancer that was already advanced to a stage three. Now he's 10 years later disease free and considered a cure from his rectal cancer. I've had a happy life and a, and a, and a you know, gift. I've been blessed in so many ways that I guess the, that uh, having a great surgeon just kind of fit in, you know. It's foolish not to, to do the prescribed tests and screening for it because it's, 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 a, you know, it's a vicious cancer once it gets old. Dr. Gavorsi really went the extra mile for me.